This is kind of, we have the mozzarella curd to start, um, and then this is our water bath. And so really your temperature, ideal temperature is probably 190 to 200. Okay. So I'll usually I'll bring it to a boil and then I'll just turn it down um, until it kind of just stops simmering. And then that's the perfect temperature. You ha salt it pretty heavily, like pasta? Or? I feel like it almost needs to taste like the ocean, very okay. similar to pasta. Um, and that's one of the things, um, you know, as you do it, it doesn't absorb as much salt as a pasta would. Mm -hmm. um, and to get the seasoning just right on your water, is then it gives you a really perfect mozzarella. Nice. All right. And where do you get the curds at? Do you make so them? So we actually do make them. Okay. And sometimes when we can't keep up, we'll, we'll buy it. Right. But, uh, we have a wonderful supplier of raw milk. Um, nice. And so it usually takes about almost an hour, hour and a half to make the curd at, at the restaurant. Do you use um, rennet or? We use rennet okay. and a little bit of citric acid. Mm -hmm. um, and it just, especially with the raw milk, it just comes out absolutely incredible. Awesome. Yeah. So. All right, I'm just gonna switch this down a little bit more. Um, how's our toast looking? Not All quite right, there. Coming up pretty nice. So I usually always throw gloves on, um, and that's to help, because it is actually so hot, Yeah. Um, it will kind of uh, protect your hands just a little bit. So if you could pass me that bowl over there. Um, and we can do this twice if you want, just to kind of see. Um, but so now I'm just going to go ahead and dump the curd in. Uh, I still have just a little movement on the water, but as you add the curd to it, it's actually going to kind of kill that because uh, it's going to bring the, the temperature down of the water. Sure. All right. So next, one of the things, you don't want to lose a bunch of your curd into um, your water bath. Now typically that uh, happens a little bit. So what I try to do is I get it in, uh, and then I'll just use something small to kind of slowly move it around. Um, and you can see that there's still some whole curd, mm -hmm. some a little bit stuff that's still solid, but it's starting, the edges are starting to kind of pull away a little bit. Um, so once I have that where it's starting to fall apart like that, then what I'm going to do is I actually come right in here, um, and now I'm going to panhandle a little bit and come up and just kind of move this around. All right. And I still want a little bit of water um, to fall into oh, the bowl. Wow. Right? Look at that. Now, if you start moving it and mixing it too much, is that what makes it tough? It can, okay. yes. And so I think really this is a very nice consistency. I still have some whole curds in it. Mm -hmm. um, so now what I'm going to do is just kind of move this around. And sometimes if it's too hot, I'll actually use these guys and right. just start you know, letting it drop. And you can see how gentle I'm doing Very. it. A lot of times people will overwork it, and this is just kind of really beautiful. It's coming together. It really is beautiful. Yeah, and so as it cools down enough to touch, then I can kind of come in, mm -hmm. and just by pulling it up like that and letting the curd stretch, um, it'll help cool it down. Um, and so now that I have it, I'm just gonna start almost like folding bread. I know a lot of times yeah. people will stretch it and refold it and stretch it. I feel like you just get a, a nicer product if you just kind of, you know, almost like folding it into itself. Right, right? it's really tender and creamy. And yeah, and it's just kind of, wow, it's just beautiful. It, it is. Really is. You want to do so, that till it's kind of smooth? Yep, and you can kind of start to feel it's starting to take shape a little bit. Oh, yeah. Um, and this is kind of ideal right here to serve uh, for our tomato salads at Boli. So what I'll do is just kind of cup it here and then I can drop it right in the water um, and then we're pretty much ready to go. Wow, that's yeah. it. Yeah, that we was it. We just made mozzarella. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, so next um, we can come over and we'll start putting the dish together. Great. So you can see now we have some beautiful, beautiful sauce. Um, and so when I plate this, I actually want to get a lot of that juice. Um, because to me, that's probably one of the best things to dip some bread into. Oh, for sure. So we'll just go ahead and fold that, making sure that we get a lot of nice broth down. Um, and then usually what I'll do is I'll kind of garnish. Um, we have some beautiful amaranth here. Um, and Did you say amaranth? Yep, amaranth. Like the grain? Yes, um, but really beautiful greens. Um, we'll drop this right in. And this has, this leafy green I think is one of the best greens for you. It's really um, high in antioxidants and it's supposed to be one of the best things that you can eat. Nice. All right. So next I'm just gonna come over. 
and I'm just gonna slide this wow, gun. So you do it hot, you never even drop it in the ice water? No, never. Wow. Yeah. So and sometimes we can you can see it's still so warm, so oh I'll just put a gosh. little final shape on there. And then it'll kind of ooze out over everything. That looks incredible. Yeah. So I always love to do just a little uh, black pepper um, and just a touch of sea salt here. Oh my gosh. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit more. We have some really beautiful radish, um, mm. baby bok choy. Um, what a stunning dish. Yeah. And then we can just garnish with a little bit of toast here. And we're all set.